You have to go to Shanghai. You have to meet your contact. Snacks. Now I get why you send me there. You have to recover the USB. I'm bringing back. Is enough? And don't mess up. Remember, if anything happens, you're on your own. What is the purpose of a tree? What is the purpose of a tree? Shopping. To do some good for the world, we have to do this mission. You know that the agent will never fail, so when she has it, you can convince her to destroy it. Convince her? How can I convince her? You have convinced me to send you on this mission of the good. I'm sure, my child, you can convince her. Okay, I try my best. God bless you. What are you gonna do, baby? Go to hell. And don't call me baby. Yeah. But after I finish my business. It's your mission to convince that chick to sell the technology to many different parties. Yes, boss. Do it by any means possible. What? You mean I can do Whatever I want of her? You can do whatever you want. It's her opportunity to start World War III. <laughs> This mission was a bit difficult for you. Yeah, and they have to call in the expert. So you're quitting now? I infiltrated a company for a year and they're starting to get suspicious. That's why you come in. Tell me more about the project. The name of the guy is Patrick Fofolstein. Nothing special about the scientist, just a typical widow. What about that USB stick? He has a USB device where he's supposed to have all the blueprints and all the information about the quake beam. And you have to get it. And here is your spy kit. Good. Where do I get my gun? For the gun, you have to talk to Sue. This is the address. He's expecting you. Where do you think it's supposed to be, that USB stick? I know he has a safety deposit box at home. Maybe you should go to check him. I see. Is that it? Pretty much. Good luck. To you too. Mm. 
bitch. So this is how it's gonna be, huh? One of those missions where there's no logistics, no support, crappy and dangerous. What the hell? Oh well, anyway, let's see what that spy kit has for me. Bubblegum, the usual. Okay, let's take a look at it. Ah, that must be my massage appointment. Hi, this is Parallel Massage. We had an appointment at 3 p.m. Oh, you're right. Can we push it to 5 p.m., please? Sure, no problem. That's good, thanks. Okay, back to my bubblegum. Let me guess. Password. What the hell? Pussy? Ah, cat. Pussy cat. Very good, you may come in. Hello. My name is Happy Singh. You must be Miss Ronsi Valley. That's me. Pleasure to meet you. Let's go into the living room. Okay. So you know why I'm here, don't you? Yes. Mrs. Nax informed me about your presence. Please take a seat. I need a gun. You need a gun? Okay, I can give you a gun. I get you the best gun you can get in Shanghai. Oh, excuse me. This looks like a plastic toy gun. Not possible. How is it not possible? This is it. Look at this. Would you like to be caught with a real looking gun? I don't think so. This looks like a plastic gun. So when you go to costumes in the subway or in any security system, it will not be detected. But try shooting yourself in the foot. I don't recommend. Thanks. Let me take a look at this. Okay, I'll take it. I will give you a very good price because you were recommended by Mrs. Nax. 500,000 renminbi. What? 500,000? It's a very good price. Remember, we're in China. It's very dangerous here to carry weapons, really. Well, you know, this is really a lot of money. I cannot spend such money on this gun. Mr. Ronsi Valley, this money is not coming out of your pocket. The agency is paying for it. You shall not worry. Well, you know, you have a budget, though. I don't want to end up in a Chinese prison, Mr. Ronsi Valley. I must protect myself. It's a very good price. A very good gun, you can kill many people. I've really gotten to it. Okay. Come make me a transfer. I think Mrs. Knox gave you the coordinates. I think you should get it now. Very good. Transfer confirmed. May I help you in some other way? Not for today.
I know about the quake, Bill. So how do you know it? I just know it. And I know your boss told you that if something happened, you are on your own. You can trust me. You know that USB. You just gotta grab it and we have plenty of customers. We can be millionaire and I can help you. So why would I trust you? Because you just have no option. I can be your savior, you know. So how could I find you? Don't worry. I know how to find you. Good. Are you don't follow me anymore? Did I ever tell you how the craving got started? How? It's because of a woman. A woman? What do you mean? I met a woman. You? Yes. You met a woman? The most beautiful woman I had ever seen. You were in love. Oh yes, it was such a romantic and passionate affair. You would not believe it. Not from you. Well, listen to this. It was the end of three years of hardcore education getting the doctorate degree. And she comes to me one day and says, baby, I found this job opportunity. They're looking for two people, perfectly matching our profile, pay super well. The only catch is it's in Antarctica. In Antarctica? Yeah. So cold. Two people in that small base for three years. It sounds like hell, unless you're madly in love and you just want a honeymoon. <laughs> so of course I agreed and it paid very well. I need to get rid of my loans. What the hell are you doing here? I know about the quake beam. So, great. Everybody knows about it. Listen, be careful. This technology can be very dangerous. It can cause the end of the world. Oh, yes, I know. Trust me. Think about nature. Women, kids, butterfly, cats, flowers. And then... We finished our studies. And we were supposed to go home, to go back to our families. And meet in Ushuaia. Where? Ushuaia, Tierra del Fuego, the most southern city in the world. And from there, we will take a plane that will leave us in the base. In Antarctica? In Antarctica, in the South Pole, okay? So I arrived there, and the next day we were supposed to go in this cargo plane when I received a notice from the hotel manager saying, there's a letter for me, and I open it, and it's her saying that I would have to catch that plane on my own because she had to go shopping and she didn't have enough time. And she was going to be there for two years. She needed to buy more stuff. Of course, you know. Yeah, a woman. She said, of course, you can go ahead, you know, to get the things ready, start the heating, you know, test the oxygen levels, everything. So I went there, I arrived, and after a week, they sent me this email saying that she had dropped out. Who sent you the email? The university department in charge of the research project. So there I was, stuck in the South Pole for three years, on my own, no. studying magnetic field and the way the waves move in space. I was so, so destroyed. Anyway, let's move this way. And I'll tell you something. I have to go now. Okay. You wait for me here. It's not gonna be dangerous, right? Don't worry. Don't worry. You just wait here. If half an hour, I'm not out. You know what to do. Okay. 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 But it should be okay. Okay. Good luck. We're gonna be rich. Yes. Well, listen, if I don't follow this man now, I will not be able to get this UV stick and to destroy it. So we'll talk about it next time, okay? Think about it. Really, think about it with all your heart. What the hell? 
How can they disappear just like that? With this quick beam, I'm gonna take over the whole goddamn world. I'm gonna show the world what a real American man's capable of. Vote for Franklin T. Coltrane III for president. That's great, boss. I'm sure you're gonna be president one day. You're goddamn right I will. Let me tell you how it's gonna be, Mr. Coltrane. Uh, Mr. Coltrane, I believe your offer is accepted, but there are some terms we need to discuss. Good afternoon. Sit down, soldier. What's the story? Uh, well, Mr. Coltrane. The third? Coltrane the third. Your offer is accepted. Great. We can be partners. Fantastic. So, show me the goods. Well, there's one little thing, Mr. Coltrane. The third. Mr. Coltrane the third. Uh, for security reasons, I don't have the technology compiled. I have it in different places. Not put all your eggs in one blanket. Basket. <laughs> so to say. Goddamn scientists. How much time do you think you need? About 48 hours. Should be fine. Okay, 48 hours is acceptable to me. And one more thing, Mr. Coltrane, the third. Um, I would need a 30% deposit payment up front. Okay. And once I finish the compilation process, I will notify you. Once my banker confirms the wire transfer, I will send you an SMS with the GPS so you can go dig it up yourself and go and rule the world. Go rule the world. I like the sound of that. Well, so as soon as I get confirmation from my banker, I will start with the compilation process. Okay, go ahead, geek boy. Well, boss, that sounds great. We're gonna rule the world. I know. Now, when can I finish them all? Your time will come, baby. This doesn't make any sense. This guy is an idiot. He's a very clever man. He invented the weapon. Mm. The most powerful weapon of all time. Oh yeah, so what do you think? Where will he hide it? Well, I don't think he trusts his boss very much, so my first guess would be he keeps it at home. Home, okay. And I can help you to get into his house. Wow, this would be very helpful. Okay, go ahead. Firstly, I happen to have a spare key to his house. No way. You don't need to ruin your manicure breaking into his house. Second, I know he has a safety box. Look. Okay. Amazing, isn't it? Well, this is a microwave. Exactly. If you were a burglar, you wouldn't look into a microwave. That is a very sophisticated safe. It uses eye recognition technology. You can't open it, you can't have access, unless you have the same eyes as the man. Yeah, but so what, do you have his eyeballs in the jar? <laughs> very funny, Mr. Sivali. I do not, but I happen to be an eye surgeon. You, doctor? Bullshit! I'm an eye doctor, University of Delhi, 1954. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this, period. No. I'm not doing it. This is the kitchen. Not possible. It's an operating room. This is a kitchen. This is not an operating room. I'm not doing this. Mr. Rosivali, it may look like a kitchen, but that's because I need to camouflage my operating room. Cannot have government officials come and see my operating room. This is bullshit. What am I doing? What am I doing? Relax. Relax. I will put so, anesthesia, local anesthesia for your eyes. Eh, you see, you don't feel a thing anymore. And now, 
The procedure is very easy. If you promise not to move, I promise not to sneeze. My God, how could I put myself through this? Mr. Happy Singh, you're gonna pay for it. Wait a second, I see some lights. Okay, possible. What a weird mission. My contact is a con man. And the prime subject is an idiot. It seems like I'm just wasting my time. Which I could use for shopping. Hmm. Boss, I got good news. I like good news. Yeah, you know, I made that chick. I managed to talk to her. And I think I managed to let her understand that we can find buyers and we can set the technology. Really? Yeah, boss. Are you sure she can find some buyers? Yes. We gotta be rich. I'm pretty confident. People are so greedy. They would do anything for money. I tell you, that quick beat is going to shake the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> what a filthy place. I hope Happy Singh doesn't screw me this time. Oh, it's working. Oh yeah, the story. So I was in Antarctica for three years. In the South Pole, imagine that. Three long years doing research. That's a long time, huh? I studied electromagnetic fields, waves. You know, I was on my own. I had all the time to study that. Then one day, a cargo plane, which stopped every three months to give me the supplies, they stop, and this time they don't drop any supplies. They tell me, get on the path. The idea is that they were shutting down the project. So they tell me, we just give you a choice. You stay here or you're coming with us. Of course, I have no option. Arizona. Arizona? The middle of the desert. Crap. 
Okay. So now, the deal was, I still had this contract, which was still for a few years. So they said you can work for us, for NASA. You work for NASA? Yeah. <gasps> wow. And so I accepted the offer, and I worked for SETI. What's that? Search for extraterrestrial yeah. intelligence. Oh. So my job was to take care of the lenses, the telescopes. That was my whole job, right? So I'm looking at the lenses one day and the telescopes, and guess what I see? What? I see a vampire. A vampire? And I freak out, and I start running, shafting, a vampire, a vampire. <gasps> it was crazy. It turned out to be just a colleague who got drunk and played a prank. But the important thing is, two months later, the director of the project called me to his office and said, look at this footage from these security cameras of me running in the facility screaming, vampire, a vampire. Well, I explained it was just a prank, but my colleague denied that he had done it. So then they were just claiming that I was going crazy. And since this is such an expensive equipment, they couldn't afford to have somebody who's going wacko. It was just complete bullshit. Imagine a story like this, trying to frame it for being crazy for something so stupid. I didn't pay much attention. And then a few months later, I'm looking through the telescope, and guess what I see? What do you see? Little green men. <gasps> you mean aliens? No, marines. Ah. Hold on. She's there, we gotta go. Oh my god, that was so close. Who could be trying to kill us? I don't know, I'm scared. Let's call the police! So, Mr. Shivali, would you be interested in purchasing Indian music? No, thank you. I have the largest collection of Saibla in Shanghai. Oh no, I'm not interested. I'm here to do business. I need to break into his office. Well, I happen to have the blueprint to his office. Oh, good. How much? To show you my friendship for you, I give you 500 renminbi. So, where is the catch? No catch? I want to see them first. No problem. As you can see, this is the location, which you already know. This is the building. The main entrance. I can see. It's all you need to break in. Looks pretty good. Okay. Good deal. I'll transfer the money then. There's something else you should know. The building is not equipped with eye recognition system. It's equipped with thermo scanning system. Oh shit, so how can I get There in? is no way you can fake your thermal body. But there must be something. There must be a way. And you do know it. There is a way. The whole system is shut down for 10 seconds once a week. Okay. But I would have to charge you a little fee, a modest fee for you. A little fee? Okay, how much would that be? Only a hundred thousand renminbi. What? Mr. Shibali, you should understand that I have to pay my informants. God. This kind of information is very crucial. Okay, now I see why the blueprints are so cheap.
it should be there right now. Very good. Wednesday, 30 p.m. Sharp. You have a window of opportunity of 10 seconds. 10 seconds would be enough. Can I interest you in some tabla music? My dear child, what is your assessment from this whole emission? It's up to tell. You know, this girl, she's a good girl and she has a good heart. But still she's a spy and she killed people before. Killed people? Mm -hmm. We have to proceed with caution, my child. And you know what? I met this demon, ugly and very bad. The devil sent him. And he's trying to interfere in my plans. I don't know what to do, Father. I'm scared. My child, we have to pray. Let's pray. My dear Father in heaven and the Holy Ghost, sacred is your name. Amen. Amen. presentation is going to be so boring. Why? Uh, the CEO, he always wants to talk about business, business. He doesn't care about science. Tell him his story last time. What happened with, with the Marines? And ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So the Marines arrive uh -huh. and they take me to a psychiatric hospital, a military hospital. Uh -huh. And I don't know what's going on because it was just a prank my friend played and I end up in a psychiatric hospital in the vampire ward where they put all the people who go crazy and think that vampires exist. I thought you were crazy. Yes, but it was all a setup. It was mm. So anyway, next to my room is the cell of this Professor Zimmerman, who had been doing a lot of research on some kind of waves, uh, frequencies and how you can transmute the frequency of a wave by induction. And I'm there for a year, just listening to this madman screaming out formulas and vampire stuff and I don't know, I decided to start taking notes because he was saying some interesting things. And, and I was writing and on the walls there was a board and trying to take notes of what he was saying, quite interesting. And then I hit me. These guys were spying on me because they had cameras in the room. Really? Yes. I, I've had the feeling it was a setup, but I didn't know if I was becoming schizophrenic or what was going on. So I decided to invent this special alphabet and then they, they started torturing me. They said, no, you have to write in English. And I don't know. Uh, well, at the end, to cut a long story short, this Professor Zimmerman died of a heart attack. And it was a big deal. There were Marines and people from Mm -hmm. Pentagon coming and the whole base goes crazy with helicopter stands, FBI, CIA. It was a mess. Yes, boss? Sure, we're coming right away. Let's go to the meeting. Anyway, it was such a mess that I managed to sneak into an ambulance, 
telling a paramedic that I was hurt no. and managed to escape. Oh, you escaped! I did, you know, it was so easy. Anyway, I'll tell you the story when okay. we come back. So, now this is uh, our uh, chief of uh, research, Dr. Patrick Smith. He will give you more introduction about. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. system contains a portable unidirectional wave trigger. Due to its small size, it can easily be disguised as any home electronic appliance, but its power of destruction is unmatched. It can be activated through a wireless signal that is deployed by the Quaping software that runs in any laptop. It uses the Earth's core as a music box to amplify the original kinetic wave. An algorithm then pinpoints the exact resonance points to deliver the earthquake to the exact location. It literally fits in your pocket. Nobody will suspect it's a wave generating weapon. For this sample, we use a video recorded body. So you don't need a big machine, you just need to use this little device and make sure you get your enemy's coordinates right. The way it works is that we triangulate the location of the target with the location where you have this device and other points on the air, which can be transmitted by mobile phone. And through these, we can target the wave to the location. and our software will locate it and just create the earthquake and exact location that you would like the earthquake to happen. Now, one of the wonders of this weapon is because the waves travel through the Earth and they will always come through the core of the Earth, then it's impossible to track the source of the quake. Okay. Thank you. That's interesting. Thank you, Pedro. Can go now. Vamos. Okay, okay, you can go that. Vamos. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we'll see you at the cocktail party downstairs. Yeah, yeah, we'll escort them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, you saw what, what you are capable to do. Start to speak about business. We have the technology. The product is good. It's ready to be put in the commerce. So you have now to show me what you're capable to do. Don't worry boss, here we have a good connection. I know our PR was great connection, in the military, in the Middle East. And I'm sure he can find a good buyer, and we can sell it. 
So let's make money. Deal is done. You again and again. What are you doing here? Come on, sweetheart. Buses confirmed. The nerd was having a meeting with some businessman. Okay, here's what we do. I want you to scare the geek boy. I want you to go give him the fright of his goddamn life. The wolf only needs to scare his sheep once. What type of scared boss like? Skidmar scared? You can scare him as much as you like. Right. I want you to show him that Americans do break legs. I want you to follow him right up to the moment when he buries that USB. And then? And then, baby, you get the damn USB. Easy enough. Then I'll call him. I'll tell him, the deal's off, we ain't got no money, and I want my 30% back. But what if he refuses, boss? That's when your gun comes in handy. Uh, Mr. Caravaggio? Yes, yeah, me. Listen, I have no time, this is security breach. I need to talk to you, and I need to talk to you quick. Um, tomorrow? Okay, okay, tomorrow at one. Yeah, okay, I gotta go. Okay, bye. No use being the office, no use being the apartment. I'll have to go all KGB style and seduce him. They should pay me double for this. No, 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 I'm not Mr. Carvalho. Oh, really? Oh, yes, now I recognize you. I saw you in a magazine, they wrote an article about you. Your work is genius, it really is. Oh, thank you. I'm just a normal guy with a boring job. I just arrived in Shanghai, I'm all alone here. Oh, really? Maybe I can show you the city. This is my hometown, right? It would be great. I have to talk to you. Maybe we should have a drink tonight. Call me, okay? Okay, thank you. <sighs> I need micro tracking device. You're at the right place. Good. I happen to have the best tracking device in the market. Show me. Made in Japan. Mm -hmm. Original one. Mm -hmm. Okay, camouflaged in the ring is a chip injector. With this headset, you can hear what the victim is saying. Come on, Kapo. Oh, little pussycat, so naughty. On your mobile phone, you will be able to see the exact location of the victim. Good. So, for how much do I get this one? An old man is going to give you a very good price. Mm -hmm. 200,000 RMB. 
200,000. This is just a little injector. But you get to keep the ring. Why would I keep it? If this is fake diamonds. Not possible. Real diamonds. These are real? Real diamonds. I'll give you the best price in town. Thank you, Mr. Happy Seal. You're very welcome. Namaste. What? I said it's a cool place. I like Shanghai. Please wait. I have to go to the toilet. Okay. What are you doing here? We are just, just having, having some fun. fun. Listen, I'm working here, so bugger off. You have to get out. If you don't let me do my work, you'll never see the quake beam. Once I get it, we can talk business. Come on. Look out, he's coming back. Get out of here. Oh, wow! Ooh. <laughs> it's normal, we're in the bar! <laughs> oh, you have a little something here! Ouch! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Good evening, Dr. Fulfushtan! Oh, I'm just having a drink with my friend here. We ain't playing you to socialize, homeboy. We take our business very seriously. She doesn't have to go. Stop. You were supposed to deliver tomorrow. Go and do your homework, nerd. But I... I can't. I... I need to be with her. Just go. Go. It's okay. Just go. Are you sure? Sure, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. I was supposed to kill you. But I'm gonna have a phone with you first. I warn you, I plead hard. By the way, did you think about what I told you last time? Who are you? Mm, consider me like a little up from above. Shit, an angel. Hmm? So? Did you think about it? Ah, yes, of course I did, but you know, first I need to get him back. And the guy must be very scared right now. Need yeah, to understand. go and check on him, you know? Yeah, understand. I'll watch your back. Go. go. Okay. Thank you. Leave me alone. Really, this is not the moment. Why? Come on, you kiss me. But it wasn't that bad, was it? This is not the point. Really. What is the point then? We are on Earth. We should behave like 
being on Earth. Look, I have to accomplish my mission. And you have to accomplish your own mission. But please, just leave me alone. You are so sweet. I would love to take you with me to hell. It's so warm over there. Come on, no, no, no. Really, you know, if Gabriel knows that, he will be very upset with me. I cannot do that, really. See you. She loves me. Hey boss, I've got good news and bad news. What do you want to hear first? Hit me with the bad news, but it better be good. The scare for the nerd didn't come out as planned, boss. There was this girl there and she bashed me up. She was huge. And then there was another one and there was Tommy back. And I know where she came from. God damn it. What the hell did you just say? I said there was a girl and she was huge. And I don't know where she came from. Are you telling me the geek boy's girlfriend got the better of you? I mean, what am I paying you for, she, girl? She, she was huge, boss. I mean, like ginormous. And I'm sure she did some ninja from that place called China. Well, you got a gun, ain't you? She might be big and all ninja and everything. She was huge. But you got that gun. That's what I pay you for. You got that gun. There was two you of them. Show them that Americans do break legs. Boss, I tried. Okay. Well, maybe this time it just ain't good enough. Bob, I really tried. And I suppose you're telling me that's the good news, right? Hello, Patrick. This is Tamara. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about last night. Don't worry. Just a silly American. She thought she was scared us. Well, she did a good job. <laughs> no, she was just joking. But you know what? Actually, the reason why I'm calling you is because I definitely want to see you again. Oh, wow. Tonight. That, that, that would be great. How are you? She's Mrs. Zhang Li, she's our security consultant, please. Thanks for seeing me on such a short notice. I was told that you already left for your sabbatical year. Yeah, I wish I had. There's been a security breach. Security breach in our company? Yeah. Who is this? Who is this person? I still don't know. I know that she's an agent or something. And she's been sniffing around the Quake Beam. The Quake Beam? Our Quake Beam. The yeah. sole Quake Beam. I think she already knows about it. This is a really serious matter. Yeah, I know. I think you should kill her. Can you give us some more detail? Can you give us your source? Can you give us something more to get a better picture about it? I have to protect my informants. I see. This is understandable. This is understandable. Any more information? Nothing? I can't. And I have to go. I just think you should know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. In our company? Impossible. It's unbelievable. Impossible? Why she has to come to tell us these kind of things? She looked weird. I don't read him. I don't feel. I don't care. I don't care what you feel. What is important is that you have to check out everything again. You have to clean up this shit. I don't care how, I don't care who, I don't care how much it costs, but if these people will really exist, I want to see her in the bottom of the river. Clear? Yes. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. 
I have some guys that can take care of you. If that's what you want, you get it. I want you to go catch that spy. Do whatever you need. Get the USB and then keep her. Don't kill her. I'm gonna finish her off myself. Got it? Yes, boss. Americans, are they betraying us? I don't know. You see, well, I was at the bar, and then the ABC came out and pulled out the gun. Banana. And then she wanted to kill me or her. I don't know. And then, well, Tamara just stood up for me and. And for a second we looked at each other and, I don't know, I felt like we were destined to be together. Oh, that's so sweet! I don't know, I haven't felt this since that chick that I met when I was in university, my doctorate, that I told yeah. you. Okay, let's go this way to hide the USB. And I'll tell you the end of my story. Yes, we stopped while escaping an ambulance. Right, when I escaped from the psychiatric hospital. After I left the U.S., I ended up in Tijuana. I was there to figure out what to do. I was looking for a safe place where I could live a quiet life. And all of a sudden, sea agents come. And they take me to the Pentagon. And I don't know what's going on. I'm freaking out. I can imagine. And he said, well, I have my rights, I need to call my lawyer, and they're just laughing. Next thing I know, the US president comes, he shoots my hand, and tells me what good a job I'm doing with all this research, and offers me this fantastic job. Wow. I was just like, well, whatever. Anyway, I had a good job, good pay, started doing some research on weapons. I didn't know what I had got myself into, I just accepted the job. It was the only thing I could do. Well, everything went fine. The research was good. We were about to come up with this new shield mechanism of exact GPS and targeting. And then my colleagues started dying. Just all of a sudden, like one in a car crash, the other one drowned in the bathtub, the other one broke his neck when sneezing. It was just so mysterious. Yeah. And I was thinking, maybe I'm next. You know, I started to get paranoid. Then, one day, I'm at the lab. Someone knocks the door down. And guess what? What? My ex points a gun on me. I hadn't seen her since we were supposed to go on Antarctica. And then she comes, pulls out the gun, and says, sorry, baby, and shoots me. And? Wait, wait, we should hide this fast. I have the feeling somebody's watching us. Well, well, remember me? Of course, how could I forget you, sweetie? Mm. Uh, I am not time for your demonic dirty. I'm here to help Tamara, and so do you. Yes, me okay. too. Okay. You know what? If she doesn't get the USB, we'll both lose. Really? So, this is our interest, to cooperate. For yes. today. So, you mean, you're gonna be on my team? Never. Mm. Your team, never. Mm. But, we'll see after, you know? Let's just help her to get the USB, and we'll see who will be the winner. Which, of course, will be me. In your dreams. Let's go. Come on. Make it up slowly.
carefully. Wait. The American chick said she wanted to kill her herself. <laughs> yes. Let's help her. Yes. Hey. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Let's go. Let's get out from here. What do you mean there's a problem? Where's the goods now? We need those goods. She got away? That dumbass bitch got away? Maybe instead of talking to me, you should be chasing after her ass. God damn it, it's not good enough. You need to finish the job and finish the job now. Okay, talk to you later. God damn it. These young killers couldn't even skin a chicken these days. I'm gonna have to rule the world all by myself. Shit, I ruined my manicure in that fight. I'm gonna have to go to the spa. But first, let's take a look at the USB. <gasps> Shit! What the hell are you doing here? Are you an angel too? I'm not that good. So you're a demon. I have a feeling that you want to out of this game. You see, for a spy, death is the only way out. Unless we start a little war. It's gotta be the World War III then. Then be it! The question is, are you gonna come out of it alive and rich? It's tempting, but I gotta think about it. I love This mission gotta be one for Canted Camera. An angel, a demon, an nerd. Of course. I'm so happy to see there's been a change in the gameplay. I gotta see you now. Yes. Now we're gonna play my game. Mr. Happy Singh, if you had the quick pin in your hands, for how much would you sell it to me? Oh, the quick pin. That's a very powerful technology. Very, very expensive. I say a good price would be around 20 million. Blueprints and software. The quick pin. Yes, this is it. And I give it to you with a discount 50%. $10 million? Oh, Miss Ronshi Bali, but. Exactly, your math is very good. Perhaps we can talk about a bigger discount. You know, 50% discount is already a lot. Just cut in half, you know? You're taking away my retirement plan. No, I'm not. You know, in 48 hours, you can make three times more money with this one. How about we say 8 million? 10. Mm. Okay. You're a very shrewd businesswoman, I have to say, Mr. Rosie Valley. Happy to hear this. Oh, welcome to Father. Mm. Congratulations, Mr. Happy Singh. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Ronshi Valley. With you too. Bye. What a nice day. I just made such a good business. Just made 10 million bucks 
and I didn't have to kill anybody. Nice. The irony is, I have to celebrate it with that nerd Patrick. Well, I'm gonna have fun anyway. I wonder, in how long can I spend 10 million dollars? I guess a couple months? about it. We should make a deal. A deal? Hmm. What kind of deal? You see, she already has the USB. She knows what you want and she knows what I want. We already tried so hard to convince her to do what we want. Oh wow, I can see you got a new tie. Oh, well, I dress up for the occasion. <laughs> but I think we should let her make her own decisions. Should we order? Sure, I'm starving. Her own decision. Hmm. Well, how do you know you can trust me? I don't know. We can just try. Hmm. Well, you know what? I have a better idea. I propose you a deal. Maybe we should stay together, very close. How close? Well, do you snore at night? Keep your imagination off. Staying together will make sure that I don't interfere with you and you don't interfere with me. That's true. Yeah. Just okay. think about it. You want to have a drink? Weather. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So you were telling me about Evan? Yeah, you know, to be honest, peace is everywhere. Really? It is boring sometimes. Hmm. Really? Really. Life is not about doing research, projects and finding the investors. Screw it. I'm done with it. I want a simple life. Yeah. Somewhere where it's always warm. And so, how is it done there? Oh, take it easy, baby, yeah? It's our first date. I didn't mean that. You know what? A fortune teller told me that I'm going to meet my wife this year. And a fortune cookie said to listen to my fortune teller. Down there, usually it's really hot. And then people make a hell. A hell of a noise. It's a real hell, actually. Can I get you something else? Something to drink? Sure, vodka. No, I don't drink. I'm a very bad drinker. Perfect, then make it double. Sure. So, I'm getting bored actually down there. Really? Yeah, you know, I'm looking for something more stable. Plus, oh. you don't get good benefits. I like to read books. Art books, of course. You read? Yeah. Uh, I'm busy now. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to watch movies. And um, I also like to play piano sometimes, you know, moving my fingers like this. Hey, look, the floor is moving. <laughs> Don't fall. How the hell are you doing that? 
Well, three years in Antarctica, two years in the desert, one year in a psychiatric hospital, two years for the Pentagon, and now working with Mr. Carvalho, I've learned to enjoy the little chances life gives me to enjoy. <laughs> Wow, so uh, sweet, you're so innocent. Well, Tamara, I'm not so innocent. No? How come? I have to tell you the truth. The quake mean is bullshit. The what? The quake mean. I know you're a spy. What? I knew it all along. It was part of the plan. My partner and snacks are into it. My my whole plan has been to make people believe that it really existed, but it never did. And we needed everyone to believe that it, it was almost ready. The attempt on my life, uh, it was all fake. It was snacks who fired the gun. And it's, bullets. It was the only way to convince everybody that this really existed and get a good price for it. I've been tired of working all my life for other people trying to develop weapons so they can kill each other and treat me just like a, a pawn in their master game. So I said screw them. I'm just gonna make some money and go hide somewhere quiet and enjoy life. first and I need to go to the hotel to take care of some stuff and then I'll meet you in the airport. How long do you need? A couple of hours. No? No, no, it's fine. Yes. Okay. No, it's good. So I'll go and get us some first class tickets. No, no. Uh, we need to keep it low profile because otherwise it might look a bit too suspicious. Okay, um, just, just take uh, the community tickets. Alright, the first breakfast. <laughs> My Judas! You have committed sin! You have to go out of here! Shame on you! But... Quiet, my child! I don't know what to say! Get out of the house of God! Go! Whatever. I prefer going back to work. Hey. Oh. It's empty. This is nothing. Ah. Oh my god. Think of something happy thing. Think of something happy thing. Not possible. This is not possible. Hello? Mr. Coltrane? Mr. Coltrane the third, yes. This is happy thing. I have some news, Mr. Coltrane. I know you are interested in the quake beam. There is a woman going around trying to sell the technology. Okay. 
Do you think she really has it? Yes, I think she has it. Okay, did you buy it? I didn't want to buy it. She's asking an exorbitant price. God damn it. We're gonna have to get after this girl. She's a very dangerous woman. She even scared my pussycats. I tried to retain her, but she escaped away. What about the security cameras? Send me all the information you have on this girl. Right away, Mr. Coltrane. I will help. I'm sure we can catch this criminal. God damn right we will. Goodbye. Bitch. Hello, baby? Are you there? Yeah, I got some bad news. Your worst nightmare is back in town and she's trying to sell the quake beam. This time we can't afford any mistakes. You really gotta kill her, and kill her damn good, cause we gotta get that quake beam back. Yeah, well this time there's no excuses. You just get it done and call me back. Okay, goodbye. Bitch. The official purpose of this trip was shopping. Thank you, Mr. Happy Singh. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Where do you think you're going, little chicks? I'm not afraid of you. Really? Let me show you how. Somebody was shopping. Okay. 
years or so, so that I can take all the stuff myself. In your dreams. Back. Don't touch them with your dirty fingers. <laughs> Here's the thing, uh, I was following this chick and you know things get pretty bad and she was running everywhere and I, I don't know what to say it but something went wrong, okay? Something went wrong, fine, okay? It's just What went wrong? Well, I mean, it's not really wrong but, well, a bit wrong, Some, somehow it's screwed, okay? But the fault, okay, is not mine, the fault is from this chick. Yes, because this chick, you know, she fell in love with this scientist. Like this little fat, ugly, with weird and stupid hair. Scientist, I mean, well, how could it be possible? Could you imagine that? Fell in love with a scientist. Yeah, come on. What type of incompetent person would That's fall in crazy. love with somebody? That's what I say. Speaking of incompetent people, you haven't achieved your mission. And you went and fell in love with this little angel. The angel? What are you talking about? You what know what I'm talking about, you incompetent fool. Oh. You couldn't control yourself. Boss, wait. Actually, that I can explain, okay? It's, it's, it's not really what you think. Angel uh, actually I know is... what happened with you in this little angel. And I know you didn't even get the first base. That's well, how incompetent well, you are. Boss, fuck all. But this is a bad word, okay? This is going too far. Please don't what? try to talk your way out of this. Boss. You failed me, and when you fail me, Feel everything in your life. You know what? Screw it. Fine, screw it. I quit. I quit. Quit? You're fired. Next time I'm gonna send Johnny. I knew I would find you here. Why do you look so gloomy? Well, they kicked me out from heaven. Right, I left hell. So, what are we gonna do? Mm, well, there's a couple of options. I mean, the board is so big, we could just... I 
don't know, you know, like... Uh... Hey, Tamara! You two again? Guys, well, I really don't have time for this now, so bye! Wait! wait. Tamara! Come on, wait! wait uh... What? I've been kicked out from heaven. And me? I left hell. It's true. We've helped you before, and we really need you now. I don't have time for this now, so bye! Wait, wait! Well, you both look like you need a holiday. In two hours, I'm gonna oh, go oh, to a tropical oh. place. Yeah. Let's move it because I gotta work on my tongue. Yay! Yeah. So you see, everything's been going according to plan. That's great. Now all we have to do is leave the country and live the life of rich men. There's one more thing. What? You still have to finish telling me the story. Oh yeah. Let's go into yeah. the living room. Yeah. Where were we? You're telling me about... Uh, I got shot. Yeah, you're right. So I was very lucky because that day I had been working in the lab. So I had a radiation vest on. So it protected me from the bullet. Uh -huh. I was still knocking off conscious. When I got up, I just yeah. ran out of the building and went into hiding. Now I had this little business card. Guess who? Who? Mr. Caravaggio. Mr. Caravaggio? Yeah, I had met him a few weeks ago in the city. He's always been a subcontractor for the military. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I say, listen, Mr. Carvalho, we need to talk business. And I set up a presentation in 48 hours wow. about the quake mm -hmm. When I met with him, he said, listen, I have everything sorted out. Mm -hmm. I have all the components of the technology. I just need some cash to put it together. Of course, he was very interested. He had the contacts, he had the cash. It was done deal. Mm -hmm. The only thing we needed to do was protect me. They have been trying to kill me. Right. Yes. So guess what he did? What did he do? He threw the project into the media. Organized a press conference, made a big noise about it. And that's how he protected me. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's why I'm alive. Wow. And now the rest is history. Hey, I think she arrived. Hey. Huh? Nobody here. Oh. But they left mm -hmm. a letter. From snacks. From snacks? Let's see why she couldn't make it. Hmm. Okay, she says she has some stuff to do, couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. She got her transfer. How about you? Did you get your money? Yeah, everything's perfect. I got it. Good. And uh, she wishes I have a good life with Tamara. I thought she didn't like her. Really? Yeah. How come? I don't know, it's just a feeling that I have. Well, you still want to have a good life. <laughs> mm. I have to go pack. I haven't packed and I have to go now. Okay, I have to go for the airport as well. Okay. So, come visit. It'll have to be for a while because I'll travel first all over the world. I want to rest from the work. So, I don't know when, but we'll see you. We'll see each other soon. It's been great working with yeah. you. You're really gonna like it. I've been there on a couple of missions. Huh, and you know what's the best part? What? The palm trees are gonna be real. Hey, good news guys. We managed to upgrade to first class. For everyone? Yeah, for sure. Wow, you're an angel. Uh -huh. She was an angel. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be great. For sure. And you know what is the first thing we're going to have to work what? on? What? Our time. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> and you know what? We're gonna try all local products. Yeah. Come on. Hey, guys, let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go.